other day I sat in another section of the woods and I walked up on a doe and she was laying down and at first her ears were up, she looked very alert. I take a couple photos, I sit down on the ground with her and as I'm done, I noticed her fawns were behind her. So I walked around to try to get the photos of the fawns and everyone stayed calm, but they just looked at me like kind of with curiosity. One of the fawns started to stand up and the doe started grunting and it sat right back down. And I kind of ended up sitting in the middle of a doe and her fawns and just getting to take like whatever photos I wanted. Those are the kind of experiences that I love. I feel like people don't really know what all is out there. And I've always said, like, I want to show people what is out there. You can find anything anywhere you go in Cincinnati, and people don't realize what's in their own backyard, their own park next to their house. It's just a chickadee that I had some. Sometimes you get lucky and you get a photo within five minutes. Other times I'm out for four hours or I'll return to the same place for three days in a row trying to get a photo of a certain species. My everyday setup is a Canon 80D with a Sigma contemporary 600 millimeter lens. You gotta get close enough to the subjects. People always say there's nothing to do here. They have to go out west to see something beautiful or to hike or it's not like that. You're not, I feel like people don't really look into their surroundings. We have tons of wildlife, tons of birds, tons of parks. That's one thing, like through my Instagram, like I always post the location of where the photo was taken. I don't know, I hope to kind of just like inspire other people to get out there, you know, because there, there is a lot in the area. There's a lot that it offers.